Hello, I'm Barker Biddy, and this is my container gym. Testing, testing, testing. When you're ready. This is my boutique strength training studio, powerlifting studio. It's built in a 40 foot shipping container. This is a high cube shipping container, which means it's extra height. Let's take a look. The walls are lined with MDF all the way around, which provides some insulation. I haven't got insulation behind the MDF, but I have got a good system aircon slash heater here. Pretty much if it's like 40 degrees Celsius, like three or four days in a row, and that thing's pumping 24 seven. It's all Gucci, it's always been cool enough to train in here. Under the rubber floors, I've got some uh, form ply laying down here. Underneath that, it had some original timber, um, but it just needed to be leveled out with some form ply. Between the timber and the rubber, it pretty much absorbs the shock of any lifting that I'm doing in here. It's pretty quiet in here as well. You can't really hear the music from outside. These sliding doors are all industrial grade Australian steel doors. The two on the ends open up and the one in the middle is a solid window. In terms of the floor plan, I have moved things around a little bit while I've been here. The deadlift platform used to be over here, which was nice because it was under the aircon. But for like training two people at once, I've coached in this space. Um, it was nice to have the thoroughfare in the middle. This is a custom-ish Goliath squat rack. So it was a squat cell and then I just asked to have it reduced because I didn't need the full depth of the cell. So I have some storage in here. I got these doors custom made. These are just like wardrobe doors, I guess. Um, some storage in here, lifting equipment, cleaning, maintenance stuff. And then on this side, I've got like a little kitchenette, which is a strong word for what I have in here, but I've got a little fridge and a microwave here. The fridge has been used almost exclusively for Pepsi Max and barbecue sauce. And if you're wondering what this uh, din here is from, it's from a new death experience because I had spare ones of these stored up here. And one day I opened the cupboard and the fucking whole arm came down, just missed me and did to my fridge. So <laughs> another time this fell on my head. Shit. <laughs> Hard hat included. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Here I've got Goliath calibrated powerlifting plates. I'll do another video on the benefits of using calibrated plates in powerlifting. Some bumper plates as well, which I feel like you have to have. This is my bar storage. I've got a whole variety of bars. I'll do a whole video on bars. I've got my coaching leaning stick, which is really important. <laughs> Here I have dumbbells. I got really lucky with the dumbbells. Some guy on Gumtree was selling exactly every increment that I wanted, and then I just bought the rack storage as well. Um, over here I've got a pulley system. This isn't a commercial grade pulley system. It's supposed to be for like home personal use. And it does show a little bit in that like uh, these cables haven't held up very well, but it's been all right for what I've used it for. And then over here I have a deadlift platform, which was kind of a custom build by me. So my friend made the frame. I just gave him specs and he just welded it together. And then underneath, I just got this cut to size at Bunnings, this timber, and you can replace this if you need to, like every few years or whatever, it'll wear down gradually and it'll have like a dip in it or a bow in it. Here is like a little office area if I want to, a lot of my clients sit here while they're waiting for their session to start um, or I can sit here and do programming or whatever as well. When I was selecting a container to build the gym in, it was important to me that these doors were fully functional because it's really good for airflow coming through here. And this media wall was kind of a bit of a marketing strategy, I guess. Uh, this is from Neon Collective, which is a local business. They helped me out with this. The power is off today, so I can't show you. But basically when people come and use this space, they get a photo in front of this wall or they do their deadlift PR in front of this wall and then they post it on their social media. Really recommend having some sort of social media wall if you're going to start a PT business. I've got another one here with my online coaching logo on it. And this, contrary to popular belief, is not moldy brick. This is wallpaper that I had shipped in from the UK and I did pay a professional wallpaper dude to come and apply this. The next one I'll do myself, I'll give it a crack. These are also just like custom made by a friend of mine, but I think it probably would have been cheaper to buy some online from like China or something than to have someone local make them up for me. Frequently asked question is, where is it? Is it at my house? No, it's not. Everyone calls it my home gym. I don't know why it triggers me, but it does. This is in like an industrial estate. So there are other, I guess, sheds or workshops around me. And how I found this place, I literally just door knocked. I just went to 
gyms or businesses that had room in their car park for a container and I just asked, hey, can I move my shit in here? A lot of people just like turned me away because I wasn't talking to the landlord, I was talking to the real estate agent and I think that, that put, they just put me in the too hard basket. But if you think about it, if you're a landlord and you've got six sheds, you can only get rent for six sheds. If you can get rent from having a shipping container in the car park, Money for jam, so that's how I found the place. Um, and in terms of bathrooms, I thought I'd have to build a bathroom into this. I just happened to door knock here and they told me that they were building straight across from where this gym is. They're building like a uh, four toilet bathroom, which also has a shower, which is amazing. It's like super modern in there. I was so lucky. So out here, I have a turf stored at the back of the gym and I can roll the turf out here and train outside if I want to. My clients do walking lunges out here, uh, group training out here. Uh, I looked into kind of getting rigs coming off the outside of here, like a CrossFit style rig, but truth be told, I was only really doing one-on-ones or two-on-ones in here, and people were doing powerlifting, it's squat bench and deadlift, you don't need a lot of space for squat bench and deadlift, and that's why the container idea works. Uh, this gym is for sale, however I think it'll be gone by the end of the week, and uh, the interest in it has inspired me to buy a handful more and fit them out, so if you're interested in having a gym, fit it out, shoot me a message, maybe we can talk. I will be documenting or vlogging the transformation of these next containers, uh, into gyms, into apartments, so if you're interested in seeing that, subscribe to my channel, let's get it.